Yo guys, True Tekken here and I've just posted a trailer which I'm sure a lot of you have already seen but man that has got to be the best trailer I've seen in 2017 or 2016 period. Watch absolutely amazing trailer and there's just so much they've shown here that I really think we need to go through. They don't know how they keep this stuff under wraps. There's just so much new stuff they've shown here that I just don't understand how they've only just shown at this point, moment in time. So these are all the new stages as you've seen through all the gameplays I've showed you already. Infinite Azure. Obviously the G Corp helipad. Dragon's Nest we've all seen from Tekken 5. Alright, now we get into the story mode. So, the first thing we see is there's some sort of picture book of memories. So if we look at this closely, the so Mishima Saga is going to be split up into chapters which is completely new for the Tekken series. And there's going to be different character episodes, so I assume this is just like when you're in the arcade mode, story mode where you just pick characters and run through their story but now it looks like you have on two separate pages so the main story is one side of the chapters and so there's that's page two of three the, and that's chapter 11 there six chapters on that page so a total of maybe 17 chapters if you add another six to that I mean that's an odd number so I don't know maybe there are DLC chapters as well but obviously they also have the character episodes as well so each character will have their own story mode and now we get a brief glimpse of perhaps these are the prologues so normally when you play a Tekken game through story mode you'll see a 2D animated prologue usually just a picture no animations now it seems like they've got gone the extra mile now there's like b-rolls and there's animation going on with it. I don't know who this character is, it's a guy in glasses. Who could that be? Perhaps a new character being shown here as well. And this seems like it wouldn't be part of the Mishima Saga because the Mishima Saga seems to be fully animated CGI sequences so this must be one of those character stories. Moving on. Yeah, this would be for the Mishima Saga. Seems like there's an <laughs> incredible standoff on top of the G Cop Helipad stage in daytime, which we haven't seen much gameplay of. Kuma and Kazuya. And then the, straight away, the match starts. Again, similarly, we see Elisa and Lee. And here is something incredible. Here's something great. I feel like this is the exact same <laughs> cutscene they they showed in Tekken 5 opening scene. Like I think they've just ripped it out of it. I'm not sure if this is any edited but work. And then, yeah, they, they're going to go through all the different story modes, all the different uh, events of past previous Tekken games as well as it seems. And you'll be able to play through those epic moments. Just like Heiachi and Kazuya fighting the Jacks before he actually was presumed dead and Jinpachi was resurrected. These are something we saw in the previous trailer. I'm not sure what those buttons are. Perhaps you can make the combos easier? I'm not sure. They did something like that similarly in the Violet Systems of Tekken Tag 2, that mode. Yep, so this is a character story, definitely Nina's character story. Oh, they've just shown there that King character story also has a CGI sequence. So each of these character sequences are now going to have CGI sequences as well. Meaning, back in the day, in the previous second games, the only sort of sequence or cutscene you'd get for the story modes would just be just before you'd fight a rival character in the story mode you'd get a little 
need to conversation just before you fought. But here you have actual CGI animated scenes, which is really, really good work by Namco. Perhaps they all intertwine. Now we get into online mode. Wait, let's just look at that again. Alright, so it's like online mode is going to be quite a simple, clean look. Earth in the background, the little dots everywhere. That's actually very similar to this color scheme, virtually very similar to the Tekken 6 online mode, and if you remember that. So there'll be rank mode, player match, tournament mode, and leaderboards. So simple. No, none of those. Um, the Tekken. They used to have something called. I'm not sure what it was called anymore. Actually, where you could have like clans, and you could see which team you were on, and you could also see replays. So far, it looks like you can't. You don't have any access to any replays, which is a shame. But I don't know if they'll implement that in the final game. Yeah, moving on. As normal, you pick a character. What is it they show at the bottom of each of these? Um, so, you get your rank. Only shows your wins, no losses. Country. And then they have these strange symbols uh, with fists. I feel like this is going to be your last few matches. So your last one, last ten matches, what the outcomes have been. So if you've won them, as this Josie player has, maybe. No, actually, that can't be the case because she says that she's only got zero wins. So I don't know. Maybe this is from previous fights as well. Her last ten previous fights of any character, she's won all of them, bar one. And this one obviously there's a bit more of a range here. And this is obviously in the PS4 version as they've got these buttons. Okay, so this is the tournament mode. Seems like there's quite a big price, 4 million G, the currency of the game. And yeah, it seems like any rank, there's no limit on the ranks that can enter. So there's obviously there's like a mentor rank, second dan, masters, master, fighter, green ranks basically, and a purple rank, so which is obviously a blue rank in this game now. So there is no limit on the ranks that can play. Of course, all of these are from Japan, and I assume this is ranking of their um, connection. Tournament will start. You can have comments at the bottom, just like in previous games. Ah, oh, they'll, they'll actually call it losers final, winners final, which is cool. Hmm. Could these customizations, Jin? Definitely looking like Ryu there. He's got a face tattoo as well, so I don't think we've actually seen a gym player for face tattoo. I've only seen Kazuo posted on my channel with a tattoo. Yep. Okay, you've got a you've got a Krillin item there. With the little monk dots on his bald forehead. That's good. That's interesting, actually. Hmm. Now, some people are reporting that because. Devil Kazumi may be a playable character. I'm not really entirely sure if that's true. I think it's plausible, like, it doesn't make sense to not have the resources of her in the game, but we'll see. This, what is this infinite combo shit going on here with Jin? This reminds me of in Tekken Revolution, you had some sort of Mokujin Gold Rush mode where you could do similar types of combos. So yeah, it must be a new mode. Might be treasure mode. Now nah, this is amazing. Look at the sheer variety of customization here. There's so much more sli sl slim line, streamlined. Like, look at this. 
and everything as always you can change the complete color of everything every item this is definitely a mix between tag 2 and Tekken 6 a very good mix between the two and yeah this is Shokimitsu I've shown you my channel many times now this is obviously new to Tekken 7 you can change what the life bar looks like which is really cool really nice touch which you wouldn't normally think of and there seems to be many many options another epic addition so you I can't believe they've put this in I think it's just a really ridiculously good idea you can have every single story ending from the previous games in this game that is awesome I love re-watching them and now having them all in one game is brilliant just adds replayability because obviously you're going to need to buy them I don't know what these cutscenes are they don't look like they're from the Tekken movie so there might be a new anime out there a Tekken anime that's coming out I'm not sure, I'm not sure. obviously some fan art stuff like that that's a good addition as well just, this game is just looking ridiculous just looking amazing There's without doubt this is going to be the best game of all time when it comes to fighting games, without a doubt. The best Tekken, without a doubt as well. And here's something that someone I didn't see at first, but it's one of my subscribers pointed out. It says for PS4, Xbox One, that they're going to get it a day early, June the 1st, and PC will get it June the 2nd. Now, I've not heard that from any gaming outlet everyone seems to be saying June 2nd so this may be a Jap Japanese exclusive thing where they get it a day early or it may be for everyone I'm not sure we're gonna have to wait and see I know most people will be getting the game early at least on June 1st anyway because I think most retailers will ship the game a day early and usually do get games a day early so we just have to wait and see on that but um yeah Incredible trailer. Okay, and obviously this is the jukebox mode. We all know about this. You can only use previous game modes, um, game soundtracks, or other Tekken games. No custom music as of yet. Of course, Eliza. Not many people talking about her, to be honest. I don't know how excited people are for her. Seems like some exclusive customization items as well if you pre-order and obviously for Xbox One you get Tekken 6 as well yep well that's it guys cheers for watching and um, expect a video soon on my newest character DLC episode on um, Prince Noctis as I've almost done it, I'm just going to be releasing it maybe today or tomorrow, I'm not sure, so stay tuned. Cheers.